Hey, Dr. John here with Life Spa Ayurveda. Today I want to talk about vagus nerve activation. It's sort of become very trendy to stimulate your vagus nerve to create a neurological calm or relaxation effect. Studies show it supports anxiety, uh, helps you sleep deeper, helps you have more focus, more energy, sort of mitigates stress in a major way. We know that stress is a major cause of aging, a major cause of DNA damage, a major cause of disease. And we also know we have no shortage of stress in our culture and how important it is for us to figure out ways to mitigate that. Now, in Ayurveda, there are so many ways to neutralize your fight or flight stress and activate parasympathetic activity. Nowadays, though, there are devices like this one, which I'm actually a very big fan of, and I'll talk a little bit about the science behind this, it's a device that you actually stimulate the auricular nerve um, behind your ear and it activates a vagal response. And I'll talk to you about why this is very important as well, as well as some of the Ayurvedic techniques that you can use to calm, activate your parasympathetic nervous system, your vagus nerve, uh, and how that all works. So if you're listening to this on my uh, website at lifespa.com, please subscribe to our newsletter. Um, and uh, so you get that information every day. If you're watching it on YouTube or any other uh, platform, please subscribe uh, and follow. All right, appreciate that. Um, okay, let's talk about the vagus nerve. You know, years ago I wrote a book called Body, Mind, and Sport. Many of you know that. And it was the, some of the original research on nose breathing versus mouth breathing during exercise. And we proved that when you actually breathe through your nose, inhale and exhale, doing, using an ujjayi breath, which forces your abdominal muscles to contract, it creates an abdominal diaphragmatic cardiac massage, which activates the vagus nerve in your heart to tell your brain to go into an alpha state and become very calm during activity. And we replicated that uh, effect by showing brainwave coherence and meditative brainwaves during vigorous exercise. My book, Body, Mind, Support, was all about replicating the zone, the runner's high experience, which is my best race is my easiest race. It's a really amazing book. I, sometimes I amaze myself that I wrote it. Uh, I had Billie Jean King and Martina Navratilova did the forward to the book. Uh, something if you really want a good read about uh, how to get calm and enjoy life from that inner experience of peace and calm, I call the eye of the storm. Uh, check that out on my website, lifespy.com. Also got a lot of free articles about uh, nose breathing versus mouth breathing exercise on my website as well, as always. Um, you know, vagus nerve stimulation becomes sort of the buzz these days. You can get it by humming. I've written articles about Brahmari and the science behind Brahmari. You can get it from deep breathing like Bastrika or my one minute meditation that I've written about. You can get it from pretty much every pranayam breathing technique that I've researched and written about. <clears throat> Shows it increases parasympathetic activation. So we have many tools, meditation, yoga, chanting, singing, humming, cold plunges, I've written about all these techniques and the science behind it. What's kind of cool about all those is they actually um, activate a parasympathetic effect by using what are called afferent neurological or nerve fibers, which means they go to the brain first, and then the brain tells the body to relax. So it's an up, down, higher center down effect, which means it's a effect that's not overruling your body's intelligence. That's a critically important thing. You don't wanna like take a pill and calm yourself down, that would be a sedative. And then your body's gonna maybe already exhausted, you're sedating, sedating an already exhausted system, right? It makes no sense whatsoever, right? But when you meditate, yoga, breathe, chant, sing, all these techniques, you're actually telling the brain that there's a parasympathetic impact and then the brain sends this message of composure and calm. And that's exactly why I like this device. This device is a, a, a nerve stimulator that you use in the auricular branch of the vagus nerve. You put it right back in through here, and in the auricular branch around your ear, those fibers are only afferent. They only go to your brain, which means that they're 100% safe, right? A lot of other techniques will stimulate the vagus nerve in other ways, but when you stimulate the auricular branch, it's a 100% safe study after study after study has shown that. Electrical stim has been used for decades upon decades upon decades. It's completely safe. You can use this on muscles and anywhere, really, but the point of it is a vagus nerve stimulation you can use on the fly. And studies show 
that when you, so what happens is when you stimulate the auricular branch, the, the activation or increased tone of your vagus nerve goes to your brain and your brain tells everything else to calm down. There's the gut brain, gut brain access. So the go to the gut, the, the brain, and the brain tells the gut to relax. Studies show that it actually reduces the symptoms of irritable bowel, bowel syndrome. Uh, it supports healthy and good digestion because it activates your parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest and rejuvenate nervous system. And many of us, because of stress, 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 our vagal tone, the facilitated pathway of the calm you down nervous system has become tiny. And the, the stimulation of the fight or flight, life's a stress and a bear's chasing nervous system has become very, very facilitated. Lots of traffic on that road, no traffic on the calm you down road. And what you wanna do with vagal stimulation is increase tone in the study show that you can increase the tone. All these techniques work. The nice thing about this is you can actually do it very, very quickly. You can do it on a bus. You can do it pretty much anywhere to continue to facilitate more neural pathways going to the brain saying, yes, you can calm down and you can mitigate the stress that you have, which is why I love it. Studies show it increases the anxiety by 36%. 100% of the folks who've done it feel like they feel more relaxation. It shows they increase the parasympathetic activation by 31%. And it increases something called heart rate variability um, by 31%, which is a measure of parasympathetic activation. Heart rate variability is your heart. When you're under stress, think of like soldiers marching into battle. The heart rate is boom, 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 boom. Very lockstep, no variation. But when you're relaxed, the heart's like, well, let's walk over here, let's go up this hill. The heart rate varies, goes a little faster, a little slower. It's relaxed, not so super, super stressed out. That's what heart rate variability is, the classic measurement of parasympathetic activation. So I highly recommend uh, that you take a look at this. These, this particular device has all techniques, and I've written an article on my website going into the detail of all these techniques at lifespa.com. Um, and you can learn more about that, how it supports sleep, how it gets rid of stress, how it increases energy, how it increases focus, relaxation. It's kind of a really cool thing. And they have different uh, frequencies that you can use. And I love one they have where you actually breathe in and then breathe out, and you actually get the stimulation as part of your breathing practice, which gives a great sort of prep before, say, a meditation, which is really neat. And the high, the technique or the technology behind this, which is so cool, are these electrodes, these little electrodes right here, which don't require gel or water or anything. You just take it out and you stim yourself, and it doesn't cause any irritation on your skin. Um, which allows you to use it pretty much any time you want. So learn more about this. Um, you can check out the link below and check, go to the website at, uh, it's called um, V Relief Prime from Hulis Performance Technologies. I did a podcast with uh, Nick Hula, the, uh, the founder of this company, if you wanna learn more about it. Great information, There's a, I have an article on my website about it as well, going into all the science that they did on this particular technique. So I'm a big fan of this on the fly. The more we can stimulate parasympathetic activation, neurological calming effect on our nervous system, the better that in conjunction with the yoga, the breathing, the meditation, the chanting, the singing, the cold baths, all that, the humming, all very critical. Um, and that's a big part of what Ayurveda is about, is to create that calm, that eye of the storm. All right, learn more about this, lifespot.com, check out the podcast as well. Thanks for listening, I'm Dr. John Deyard. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.